Hi and welcome to Scott's Inverse. I'm Scott. These are the Inverse. Today we rehouse a centipede which was kindly sent in to us by Raymond over in Ireland. Massive, massive shout out to Raymond. Really, really appreciate you, dude. And everything that you do for the community as well. Really, really appreciate your sunshine. Anyway, let's get in to rehousing, opening the box as well as and rehousing this absolutely beautiful, beautiful centipede. So here's the box it's came in. I took off my name and address, but at this point, I don't actually know what's in this box. I'm obviously a dude out because I'm doing a voiceover, but at this point of opening, I have no idea. I can't read you this note because it's just filth from Raymond as per normal with a lot of compliments as well. <laughs> Again, thank you, Raymond, so much. But mine and me and Raymond, as well as Raymond and a few others, do have a very unique sense of humour. <laughs> Anyway, we'll carry on opening this box. I'm going through the packing peanuts here, and then I see this box, and I read Borneo Blue, a centipede. And of course, Raymond said it's fast as I've had to blur that little bit out, but you can probably guess what it says. <laughs> um, I do take the top off. Um, I try and show the camera, but he's hiding underneath all that moss. So for, for my safety more than anything else, I'm going to put the lid back on until we've done the setup. And the setup is a 10 inch by 10 inch by 10 inch Komodo. And we've gone for around four inches of Levington's topsoil in there as well. Do not use cocoa or Koya for, uh, centipedes at all. They can That can be really damaging. But something like this, a potting compost is perfectly fine. These come from Borneo, so we want to be having that humidity around 70-80%. Temperature wise, 20 to 22. So a little bit cooler than what we normally keep the spiders at. Now I've gone for a piece of bark which I found out in the woods, flat on the flat on the uh, surface of the soil. Put a little starter burrow in there as well. Hopefully it will go underneath there and chill and relax. Going in for the moss again. This is just moss that we've been out and collected from from the local wild place. Another piece of bark covered in moss again. What I want to tr try and create is spaces where the centipede is going to go and hide. Um, and, gen and generally when we've got terrestrial species, like this one is marked up by TSS, they do kind of go under this bark and hide. Another beautiful piece of moss, and yes, again, another piece of bark that it's growing on has gone into that as well. Absolutely awesome. Um, the substrate itself is already moist straight out of the bag. Um, we're going to put that water dish up there in the corner. We have to make sure this is topped up all the time. These centipedes surprisingly enough can absolutely drain a water dish like that in in a matter of a few minutes especially if they're really thirsty um, the moss on the um, on the bark there I'm gonna give that a good drench and I give the rest of the bark as well a good drench because the moss there is a little bit dry and I want to kind of kickstart it the substrate straight out of the bag Levington's that's moist enough so we don't have to worry too much now that mesh lid there is metal so I'm going to put that in place again for my safety. So if it tries to come out, I can hopefully click the lid down pretty quick. And I do something really, really silly here. Um, I actually remove the moss. So I'm using the wooden spoon there to get the moss out and uh, protect myself from being burned. But then I go in with bare hands and remove the moss. Please don't do that because look how fast these guys are. And that is slowed down to 0.25 of its actual speed. But just look how beautiful that centipede is. Absolutely stunning. This is an adult and he or she is absolutely gorgeous. See what I mean about that? Uh, getting the lid in place ready? Just push it straight across. And there it is. Underneath the moss. Crawling around. Having, having the best life. Literally loving it down there. Nice, damp. Nice and shady. A little bit cooler down there as well for it. Comes out for literally a split second, spins around and goes back in. Those blue legs, oh my word, absolutely, shockingly beautiful. I think it's quite funny when its little head pops up and its little antennas are going <laughs> 10 to the dozen, feeling where it is, but you can see where it is there. <laughs> and that's where it starts to burrow, so it's actually created a burrow. And it swims through the substrate. It's so easy. Really surprising how they make light work of making a burrow in an enclosure like this. Especially when you lose use like a loose substrate instead. But that is the overall enclosure. So that was Esther Mignus 
species of Borneo blue and absolutely has the light turns to blue as well. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful centipede. Raymond, if you're watching, dude, thank you so, so much. Really, really appreciate it. Really appreciate your support. Um, very, very fast centipede. Um, as you've seen in that video, I had to slow down kind of when it come flying out of the box because he was, was so quick. So we slowed that right down to sort of 0.25 speed just to kind of show you how fast these guys can be and the fact that we've had to slow it down so much so we can see what's going on with that centipede as well. But the blue... Oh my God, the camera does not do the blue on the legs justice at all. And that petrically colored blue across the rest of the centipede, absolutely just remarkably beautiful. Now, these are marked up from a few sellers as being terrestrial. So that's how we set it up. Yeah, ours has buried right down to the bottom. So I think what I'm gonna do is do a lot of observations with it over the next couple of weeks, see where it prefers to be. And if it carries on burrowing, we're going to set it up with about 10 inches of substrate and go for a more of a fossorial setup. Um, I'll, I'll kind of think with the terrestrials, what normally happens is that pieces of court bark that we're in, that's where you kind of find them underneath there. Um, but yeah, absolutely beautiful, beautiful centipede. Again, thank you, Raymond, so much. Um, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscription button. Channel members get discount over at Spa Spiders, 15%. Um, but yeah, thank you again for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscription button. And if you like what we're doing, hit the like button. And if you really like what we're doing, consider giving this video a share out because it really, really does help. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. And as always, we shall see you again on the next one.